Hello. Good evening, my people. Our God is good. All the time and all the time, the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. After some time, <laughs> three weeks over, and I'm back again by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Isi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody, wait down. Annabelle, Annabelle. Wonderful evening to you. Hi, ah, my children. I hope everybody is fine. I thank God for taking me out and bringing me back again. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God bless you, my dear sister. Thank you so much. Me too. I'm happy to be back. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Bible says we are two or three are gathered. He said he is present. The Lord Almighty is present. So make we do as we did do, my dear sisters, as we don't become three online. Make we pray because today I just want to talk one or two things we know too much. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, King of glory, we just want to thank you and give you all the glory for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for your love and your care. Thank you for your protection all this while. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you took good care of us. We are not better than the ones that are gone, but Lord, you have showed us mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, that we are back here again, Lord. Do what you say you will do. Bless your children. Bless us all, O oh Lord. Direct us the right way to go. In this land or wherever land we are living, Lord, let us not do backwards. Lord Almighty King of glory, let us be among the living to be able to praise you, to be able to shout hallelujah unto your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, I am that I am. I bring this whole platform and this arena before you, Lord. Take absolute control. Take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, I am that I am. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, iteo, a. But I give God the glory because it was for a good deed. Amen. It was for a good deed. Hallelujah. I say, ah, as I walk, I say, I go come tell you. I say, I they go core. Within uh, English people, they call rehabilitation. You know, but the two, it get difference for the German word, core and rehabilitation. They call them core and reha. Those are two different things entirely. You know, rehabilitation. When uh, we African people, some of us here, what is it they call rehabilitation, we go begin shout. You know, some people go say, ah, which kind of sickness the person don't seek, oh, which kind of thing, I be the person don't they get scum scum for brain. You know, uh, what is going on with the person? Why should the person be going for rehabilitation? Yeah, uh, that is the reason why. I decided that when I come back, I will come and do a program on what I experienced as a person and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, oh, the inside. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, um, today, I just want to take and welcome my fans, those where they always they come join me. So let them know the difference. Every country where you day, there is a possibility for you to, to get this opportunity where they talk so to take go somewhere, get your cool, get your brain back from all the stress. Now, cool. Let it be cool. 
K U R. Now be waiting. Jamas the column is a part of rehabilitation too, but not as intensive as real rehabilitation. Motor kind core. What do you mean? Motor kind core. Now a place where mothers and fathers, not just mothers, mothers and fathers feel go with their children. Mothers and fathers where they get stress. Maybe because, you know, say, Europe here, nobody helps you to take care of your children. You are alone with the children. You are working. You are alone with your children. Now you know where did they go. Now you know where did they come back. Now you be school. Now you be book. Now you be homework. Now you be everything. So at this point, you are alone with these children. So your husband, maybe your husband, they work. And he too is having his own stress from his job and all that. This core is something that you and your family can go. Is a place where you and your family can go. Especially when you are having stress, continuous stress, continuous tense for your body. You get too much, too much, too much tension within you, within your children, within the family. There's too much tension. Then it is time for you to take some rest, especially as a mother. Men, most of them, not they like go all those kinds of because they, they pursue money, 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 money. But as a woman, now you know as your body they do you. Now you know as as you, your 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 brain they tell you say, be careful, be careful, be careful. So you go to your doctor. How do you go about it? How do you go about this mother kind core, mother child or mother father child uh, uh, rehabilitation? How do you go about it? When you don't they get this stress, you they get constant headache, you they get unnecessary things, body pain, things where we say you know feel explain psychologically, you are going tensed. You go to your doctor. Your doctor gets your record. All this while, what you have been doing, your doctor has your record. All the things where you don't they complain about, your doctor has your record. So all they need to do is you going to complain that you have enough stress, you are having stress and this, that, that, you can't sleep, you can't do this, you can't do that. Then he will ask you, what do you want to do? If it is too much stress, maybe because of your job, you are a worker and you are also uh, uh, having children, you, are, you work, you run to school runs and all that. He will ask you to have some rest. And that is when this mother child or mother father child core comes in. They send you there for three weeks, at least three weeks. That's what they normally do. They send you there for three weeks. So before you do all this, you send the papers, the, 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 the doctor will say, uh, write a paper for you. You will take it to your, um, to your uh, insurance company. That is your, um, what do they call it? Health insurance. Your health insurance company is the one that is going to pay for, for the, uh, the rehabilitation that you are going. They are the ones that are going to pay. So you take the paper to them. When you get there, you submit the paper to them. They will tell you they will reach out to you. So normally, you are supposed to, you are entitled to it every four years to go for rehabilitation. That is to go for core. When I call it core, I, in English, there's no other word for it. It means, uh, in English, it's called rehabilitation. Mother, mother, child. Uh, uh, mother, father, child, core. So, but that word core in English is rehabilitation. And that place is not for, uh, uh, it's not a hotel. Let me not, um, um, let me not uh, uh, mistake two things. It's not a hotel. It's not a place where you just go 
and you relax and you just stay and you just you, you just sleep 24 hours no is a place good evening miss esther is a place where you go with your children with your husband or your partner your your children you go there and they give immediately you are entering that place it starts it starts they start to take care of you immediately immediately there's nothing like sleep and wake up amen you will go immediately you get there by the time they give you your key to your room your child has a room you also you have a room by the time you get to that room the next thing you need to do is to go to the doctor so the doctor is the one that is going to take care of every plan that what you are going to do everything that you are going to do that the doctor has already heard from your doctor they have uh, exchanged letters and they know already the person that is coming so by the time you get there we just ask you a few questions and it begins amen that is the core i'm talking about then like i said i want to tell you the difference between core and rehabilitation because um I heard some people saying that, uh, 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 when did mama go sick like that, that she's going for rehabilitation? Uh, I didn't go sick, but I needed my soul and my heart and my brain to work together. Amen. I was tired and I needed some rest. And I need that rest through professional care. Amen. Through professional care. <laughs> so before i start to you know say i tell myself i want to differentiate them this rehabilitation and the uh, core now two different things so core now body and soul and your brain your body and soul quiet time with yourself take care of yourself love yourself bring yourself back together your body and your soul bring it back together now it be cool yeah mm -hmm. may i read something i beg now make i read something for the book of luke the book of luke uh chapter 26 okay the book of luke chapter 21 verse 26 amen hallelujah the book of luke chapter 21 verse 26 Make I read waiting a talk. I always tell people to follow me or they read Bible. You know, so many people don't like to read Bible, but I want to read something. He said, Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Amen. Biblical possible reason for heart failing or heart attacks. Eh? Uh -huh. Heart failing or heart attacks. Make I read them again for now. Make not tell no say even Bible. Say make we the rest. Make we no get heart attack. Make we no get heavy, heavy problem. And uh, because we human beings, anything where we not know, now we they, we they fear anything where we not know. We have not seen it. So we, we don't know what it is. Then we start to give it names. Good evening, Pastor John. Good evening, sir. Good evening. We start to be afraid of something you don't know. Eh? And start talking bad about something you don't know. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you too. Eh? So why don't you wait and see? Listen, the Bible says in the book of Luke, it says, Luke 21 verse 26, men's hearts, Failing them for fear. Your heart, men's heart are failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Amen. Then let me read 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with soft, with softening. Hmm? And drunkenness and cares of this life. You see, huh? Uh -huh. cares of this life. And so that 
and so that they and so that they come upon your upon you on our ways. Amen. So you see what the Bible is saying there. That Jesus said, we need sound heart and sound mind to exercise and to receive him, to do the work that he has given us to do. I felt tell you, I say, everybody on my line, na evangelist, na to preach, na to tell other people about God's work. By his second coming and loving, you understand? He says, Jesus said, we... We need sound mind and sound heart to receive him by his second loving. Amen. By his second coming. Amen. So when you they do the work of God, or when you they walk anywhere, or do things anywhere, you need your body, soul, and mind to be together. You understand? So... So thing where person not understand, make you know the fear am. Our, our our people will do the fear, you know. Say ah, who know what that they go do there? Maybe they will go operate my brain, you know. <laughs> or <laughs> or when you go reach there, you go to get some kind stress where you not forget before. No 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 no. It's a place where you will be very happy that you were there. Amen. So then, what is rehabilitation? What is rehabilitation? Amen. I don't feel tell you now what it be cool. Yeah? Then what is rehabilitation? Rehabilitation is where you go when you seek. You understand? For by English word. Yeah? And by Germans, they separate the two. Where you go to go take care of your brain, take care of your soul, let your body and soul come together, build out stress. That place, you call it core. Core means taking care of you completely. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, my love. Loretta, good evening. How are you? Faustina Fortina, how are you, my darling? I hope you are fine. And my children, I hope they are all fine. Core is a place where you go to take care of body and soul and your mind. Massage everything, everything, all those little, little things where we know the greed do. Those things that we refuse to give ourselves. Even if they send us there, we will not go. Uh -huh. Those place, those things, that is what, that is what uh, core is. Where you are, where you are relieved of your worries and your stress that is how i can put it uh -huh. and bible say make we they do so because with sound mind and your calm heart and your calm brain that is how you can receive jesus into your life not be only say when you the guy wahala you they run you they bidi bidi positive they pursue you one thing they pursue you or the other that is when you want to receive christ with all your stress because you have stress no calm down and receive God with all love we get for you. Amen. Good afternoon, my dear sister. Good evening. Good uh, morning for everywhere where everybody did. Amen. So rehabilitation is where you go after being sick for a while. If it be, say, the person break leg, if it be, say, a uh, uh, disease or whatever, you know, rehabilitation is a place where you go after being sick it can be whatever kind of sickness so far they don't call it sickness so that is where you go to go and take care of yourself if a person will be say let's say for example a leg break after i don't they don't treat and finish for hospital they don't operate the leg they don't do everything they will send and there for them to go teach that person how to walk again how to take care of a new situation you understand? Uh -huh. That is what they call rehabilitation. Bring you back to, uh, to your former self, at least to a certain extent. That is what they call rehabilitation. In that kind of rehabilitation, after illness, you can take up to six, seven weeks, eight weeks, sometimes three months. It depends on how serious that illness is. Amen. But this one when me go. Now just vo fuel. I just went there to feel good. 
bring myself together, have some time for myself alone and my children. Amen. Now, not as men be now. Ogano Grigo, he say he get many things to do. The house of God, my work, my this, my that. I said, okay, me, I am going, no. <laughs> Let me go and enjoy my money. After all, I'm working for some time now. So, but if you are not working, if you are not working, you still have a chance. You still have a chance. Which means maybe your husband is working or even if he's not working, once in a while, I think once in, once in some time, the doctor, I think once in four years, yeah, once in four years, then you are allowed to go. But if you are working, then anytime, maybe once in two years, you ask and they will, they will ask you to come back. But if you are not working, then four years. But it's going to take time. They go battle you, go here, battle you, go there. Why do you want to go after all? A house you day, you know? Uh -huh. So that is why I they always they preach for this. My forum say, try and do something as a woman. No, don't just bend down and sit in one place. The Bible says a hand that doesn't work should not eat. Hmm? And it makes you to feel good about yourself. When you are doing something, you wake up in the morning, you go out. Your children, give them good example. Go out, do something. There are good things in the land that you are living in. Good things that will come to you when you are doing something, when you are working. Find out. Do not walk in the country where you are living in like, eh, 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 I don't want something to touch me. I don't want anything to stain me. No. Open your heart. Open your heart. Release yourself. My dear sisters, the stress of taking care of children alone, he reached for somebody to get stroke. He reached for somebody to get uh, a brain, brain bust. Eh? He reached for somebody to get heart attack. Because the way we were taking care of is not the way they take care of children here. The children decide. Almost want to decide for parents. You understand? So the stress way well, they not be small thing. I understand that very well. But give yourself some rest. Say you won't give yourself some rest does not make you a bad mother. You want to give yourself some rest does not make you a useless person. By the grace of Almighty God, I just want to start with this one today to tell you people the difference between core and rehabilitation don't be afraid of what you don't know and don't say things about what you don't know so people say if you go for that uh, that uh, hey they go just do you like this they go do you like that you, you don't you don't need to say that because you've not been there i don't go i don't see her, and i go talk with you i see i tell them i say the good the bad and the ugly and so i go say put her down for now Let's read something. Verse 34 and 36 for the same verse where they read, they come. Yeah? For the same 21, verse 34 to 36. Amen. He said, And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and with, and with cares of this life. You see, Bible David, they tell us, make we take care of ourselves. If not, the worries of this life will pull us down. The worries, the stress of this life will pull us down. Yeah? For as a snare shall it come to all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be acquainted, acquainted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. So to do God's work and to do whatever you are doing, you need your sound mind. The Bible says it, does, it didn't give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind and of boldness. Amen. But how do you have the spirit of sound mind and of boldness when uh, every little thing, you they fear to enter any, every little thing. Ah, what is this? So you both don't plan, no. What is this one? now? Nah, don't understand. The uh, doctor will send you a message. Say, go to so-and-so -so place. Go do this kind of thing. You go there, there, they fear. Say, you know, one make the con enjoy you. Join the one way you did. No. 
we don't have to live in fear. We have to be bold. We have to see the way they two are living. Let's pick the good ones and leave the bad ones for them. Amen. Add that one. Join our own way. We learn from village. Come. Everything will fine. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I don't want to say for Lionel. I believe, say, right now, I don't be able to tell you that the difference between core and rehabilitation, I, I, I decided to put on like that because English not get word for core. They only get as rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. So, comfort rehabilitation and uh, medical rehabilitation. Yes, that's how I put it. Comfort rehabilitation is core. Then medical rehabilitation is the real rare. Yeah, that is how I put it. Amen. So the comfort rehabilitation is called core in German language. So that is the one I want you people to try to apply for. Woman will get children. When you know, say your brain, don't they make twin, 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 any small thing. You don't holler the picking. Any small thing, you don't shout for a guy. Any small thing, you don't make ba 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 ba. No, say the mind, the heart, and the brain are no longer working together. So you need some place to bring her down, to calm her down. And believe you me, they help you actually to bring your body, mind, and soul together. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear sisters, this is what I have for you this evening. Next week, I go to explain my experience. What I experience how I tell experience some and how it will be. Amen. So make I just quick, quick read the Philippians 4, 6 to 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything. Amen. Somebody did they help me right time. It says, Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guide your hearts and your minds in christ jesus amen i reach there i see chance to read my bible too amen i will be talking about that next week i just make a welcome on her make a tell and say i don't come back and I make I just quick quick explain what the two different ones be. So the medical one, I no go talk there. The comfort one where I go. Good evening, darling. Sister Josephine, good evening. The comfort one, the comfort rehabilitation where me go. Now I go talk about. Next week, when I not miss I'm going to call your friends. If then they leave for Germany, call them. Let us sit together and tell ourselves the truth. Now no, the truth you know will set you free. Amen. My dear sisters, may God bless each and every one of you. May God keep you. May God guide you. May God open your eyes and your heart to receive the goodness of the land where you live in. The Bible says, wherever you set your feet, he say, claim it. And by the time you are claiming it, claim the good things along with it. Amen. And that is what I'm leaving for you this evening. Do not be afraid of what you don't know. Do not be afraid of it. Let it come and you face it. Amen. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God keep you. Father Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and our God, King of glory, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for being back once again. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Only you can do this, Lord. Thank you, merciful and ever-living Father. Glory and honor be unto you, O Lord. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. O Lord, looking around, no one is missing. Father, I thank you. It is just your grace and your mercy. It is not by our power, nor by our might. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. Thank you, Lord. We know by your grace, we will still be here next week, Thursday. Lord, take absolute control. Protect and guide each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen in Jesus' name. My dear sisters, bye-bye you. Till next week, Thursday, we are going to tell you the story 
of her waka. Make una con listen till then. Now bye bye. God bless. Bye.